I want to show you guys two self-assessments that you can do for SI joint dysfunction. The first one is called the Fortin Finger Test. So what you'll do is you'll have your patient turn around and just ask them with their finger to identify where their pain is located. If they point to their PSIS, which is that bony prominence in your lower back, if they come within one centimeter of their PSIS, identifying that really localized pain that is a positive Fortin finger test, which is positive for SI joint dysfunction. The reason that that is a positive test is your PSIS is the origin for a lot of your gluteal muscles, um, your piriformis, so that area is um, very easily irritated with SI joint dysfunction and it's also the location of a lot of the attachment sites for the ligaments that are involved as well. The second test I want to show you is called the Faber test. I'm going to lie down here on the table and show you guys that. So what I'm going to do, Faber stands for flexion, abduction, and external rotation. So I'm going to flex my hip first, abduct it out to the side, and then externally rotate. Um, this can be used to identify not only SI joint dysfunction, but also other lumbar, lower back issues, or hip pathologies. It's considered positive if it reproduces the pain either in the back of the hip or in through the groin area. SI joint dysfunction is very common if you have any of these symptoms please give us a call at 703-450-4300 and we'll schedule an evaluation or you can click the link below.